Welcome to the Girl Power Alliance podcast, where you're going to meet and hear from some inspiring women with incredible stories who are leading in business and in faith. We are on a mission to impact the world by empowering women to dream bigger through kingdom-minded mentoring and leadership. This is where women grow. Welcome back to another episode of the Girl Power Alliance podcast. I have another amazing woman here today. Her story is phenomenal. I cannot wait for you to meet her. Let me tell you a little bit about April. April Uzel is a minister, a vessel for God, and a certified spirit-led Christian coach who specializes in helping women to recover from setbacks, regain strength through losses, and to overcome obstacles by moving forward. She is also the host and founder of Real Talk April Freedom Living Podcast and CEO of Transitional Recovery Coaching. Most importantly, she is a mother of two daughters, a voice and an instrument for God to serve and fulfill her purpose here on earth. I mean, you are my kind of people. (laughs) <laughs> to God Welcome be to the cool. podcast. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. What a pleasure to be here, Michelle. I thank you for this opportunity um, just to be a vessel for God. You know, that's what it's all about. It really um, is. It really yes, is. Ma'am. And to be somebody so willing to share your heart and your gifts, uh, we need more. We need more. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so tell me, a li- how did you decide and what made you decide to get involved in uh, becoming a coach? Well, um, I can say for me as a coach, typically this is what I've been doing. You know, when you have a gift that you do naturally and you kind of flow in it, you know, I've been doing this from what uh, years and had to finally figure it out that, hey, this is could be a business opportunity. This could be, you know, kingdom, you know, also ministry, but also business as well. So I enjoy, you know, enjoy encouraging others. I enjoy as well as coaching others, um, helping them um, to get set free. As we know, a lot of people are in bondage, um, even in the house of faith. Although, you know, the sun has set us free, we also, you know, have to be free mentally um, to be able to do the will of the Father. So um, becoming a coach, I've been a life coach for like uh, five years. And I had to specialize, like find my niche. Um, so the Lord placed on my heart recovery, help people to get their life back. And, you know, so that, like I said before, that they are functional, you know, able to function in the kingdom and be, you know, entrepreneurs, be business women, you know, and being able to collaborate with others as well as this opportunity today. Um, So that's how the coaching business started. Um, After that, um, I started, I went through a transition in my life that allowed me to write a book. Uh, I am an author of um, um, Free Indeed, Seven Keys to Unlock Your Prison Doors. Mm. Um, So I went through a transition. I called it like a plot twist where God has something else in mind. And actually, one of the first keys in my book, talking about activating your faith, that's something I had to actually do on my own. So um, how he orchestrated, I mean, I had this, being wanting to write a book, for like four years now, I had the foundation when I went and hired a book coach to coach me through. She was like, you ready? Um, the baby <laughs> already out there. You know, we just got to do the work in pushing it out. So um, I wrote my book last year um, while I was out of work for five months, trying to, you know, trying to find my place because I was in the education field. I was a teacher. I was a special ed teacher. I worked with uh, students with special needs. So I kind of transitioned out of that. And that's um, what brought me to writing the book, Free and Day, and actively um, working in my coaching practice as far as helping others as well. So um, also, I started my podcast, Freedom Living Podcast. So that's been our uh, adventure. Also, before Freedom Living Podcast and before my book, 
I have a Real Talk show. And basically what a Real Talk April show is, it allow women um, to come together and collaborate, talking about real issues, you know? So I'm honored. I was blessed to have so many women to come on, to talk, to come to the table. And we have these um, courageous conversations and table talks. So um, that happened. After that, I took my coaching up a little bit, upscale, and I became an LLC um, last month. So, um, wow. Yes, ma'am. That's where transitional recovery coaching LLC came in place. So, I kind of, and I'm working on something else to go with that. Uh, <laughs> it's just a lot right now. I'm working on a school, actually having an academy. The academy oh. is going to be unlocking destiny. So God, I'm just maximizing what God has given me. It started off a book. I mean, and God said with one idea, I created a book. Now I'm creating a school, like an academy where I can actually teach others. You know, I can teach others to um, get free. In your bio, you said you're a vessel. You sure are. (laughs) I mean, come on, look at all the different uh, ways and platforms you're using to get this message out. And I think God is so, you, you talked about plot twists. He's so funny like that, right? Like you're going, you're just going down your merry way. And he's like, "Er," you're going Mm -hmm. that way now. And, you know, look at how he's blessing you tremendously. So in your, in your academy that you are creating, are you going to be raising up other coaches? Is that your vision to have, to train other people to do what you're doing? Um, uh, Michelle, absolutely. Um, in order to do that, um, you know, I'm going, I want to train, um, vessels, you know, once you get broke free, um, from whatever, you know how it is, you know, we have, I call them curveballs that come in our lives, mm-hmm. such as fear, you know, the fear of unknown. Can I really do this? Yeah. Just like what, before I wrote my book, my curveball was, um, um, what, I mean, who going to read my book? You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, it was, it was so many things that try to, you know, persuade me not to write that book and to not get it out. But I must say that I want to help others to break free from the change, you know, the chain of being held. And I talk about it in my book, um, being mentally incarcerated. Uh, When you're mentally incarcerated, meaning that you're locked up mentally and actually you're not able to move forward. So after that process, once getting them broke, I mean, once you come in, we're going to do an assessment to see where you are and where you want to be. So me as a coach, um, I'm going to help you uh, through uh, uh, strategic strategies on how to get there. And also, you know, allow God to use my life as to if he can use me, he can use you. And um, so training them up to be vessels, too, to help other people. That's what it's all about. The kingdom. You know, I raise I God raised me up. Let's get you raised up. So you can raise somebody up, else up, and we can all work to keep them together and get the message out. April, you are exactly the, you're the embodiment of what God showed me with Girl Power Alliance. You're doing that. You're, You're the embodiment of it. You're taking every piece of you, every gift that he gave you, and you're utilizing it. And he's, He's using you to impact other people's lives, but he's also gonna bless you because he's allowing you to make that your job, your purpose, (laughs) your purpose on the planet where you can impact lives. He's allowing you to, to reap the financial benefits of that. That is a beautiful combination. It's like, that's what we pray for. And, and in addition to that, you are, you have the call on your, I believe we all have the call on your life to go out and you know, anoint and empower other women to go do the same thing. You are the embodiment of what I envision for Girl Power Alliance. I'm just so amazed by you. Oh, Lord, to God be the glory. And it's strange because I don't even feel like I'm doing enough. Really? How much more? There's only 24 hours in a day, lady. (laughs) 
I know. <laughs> and sometimes I feel that way. I feel like sometimes because even starting off procrastination, I deal with procrastination. If anybody's out there dealing with procrastination, I deal with it. I deal with it on, um, you know, I guess nobody likes to be put in a, likes to be discomfort, put in a situation where it stretches you. No. So I must say, be transparent for a moment. God had to deal with me as far as being stretched, you know, because a lot of times I will run from it. And I ran actually from writing a book for a while. I mean, as to ministry as well, because I know it will stretch me. But if you look at it, there's people out there actually waiting for what you have to put on the table. You know, so if I hold on to what God has blessed me with, I'm being selfish. So I begin to say, yes, Lord, I surrender. It's all about him. You know, it's all about him. It's all about winning souls to Christ. And I always say, if anybody God wants to use, it's the people of God. If anybody God wants to be entrepreneurs, it's the people of God. If anybody God wants to launch a coaching practice, it's the people of God. Mm. If anybody God wants to have a show, uh, uh, wherever it be, a podcast, wherever it be, a table talk, it's the people of God. Mm. Go on and on and on. He wants us to be that. You know, he wants us to be international. He wants us to be global, where that we can meet all sorts of kind of people so that his light, God is a big God. If he can get us all on one accord about the kingdom, I mean, my God, my God, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world, right? And my God, if we all come on one accord, activating our gifts, doing what we're called to do. Come on now. I mean, I, I, I just can imagine how, I mean, only we can imagine how this world will be. <laughs> and we- if you, if you are listening and you don't have chills, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like about to cry. I, I hope you will rewind this. I, I guess there's no rewinding. I hope you will go back and, the, and re-listen to everything that April just said. That was so anointed. I was just like, preach it, girl. And if you are watching this on live, I know you felt it. I mean, you are speaking such truth that people in the world need to hear. And I think sadly in the Christian community, people feel like, oh, well, that's a worldly thing. Like that's a secular business. So that's a, that is you, that is a lie. And you are right. You know, the people of God should be in every industry, in every profession, standing out, successful, successful beyond showering their gifts, showering their prosperity on the other people of God so that they will go and do the same. Amen. Absolutely. And God had to show me that because I was operating in ministry, right? But God, I mean, I ran for, from entrepreneur and business because I felt like, oh my God, I can't even get my life right. You know, my own, I mean, I, yeah. I struggle yes. with organization skills, you know, as far as organizing things and yeah. putting my thoughts together. And God was like, that's what I want to use, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and you're going to help other people. And I'm like, really? Come on now. But that's, I mean, that's the kind of God we, we serve, right? So I'm here to say I had to, and then I struggled with another thing, uh, Michelle, with charging, uh, charging people. I have been in conversations with people that ask for advice from me and ask, you know, and I mean, some things I wanted to mash the replay on. What did you just give them? And the, and the <laughs> Lord had to let me know that some of these uh, um, people that are coming to you for advice, you need to hand out your business card and say, okay, let's start them. Um, okay, uh, here's my business card. Let's sit down and chat for a minute. Because, and that's when God began to shift me. Like, it's okay. Because I felt the same way. Like, you know, the secular, you know, having a business, money is the root of all things, but we, we're not loving it. We work in a kingdom. And, you know, yeah. he said the, uh, the rich is, you know, stored up for the righteousness, you know, so God got things that he wants us to do. So, I mean, so we can build a kingdom up, that's, you know, that's exactly right. 
the yes, enemy, the enemy wants the believers to think that it's wrong to be successful right. in, in business. And, you know, I just rebuke that. That's a lie because yes. the, the more that we, as the people of God, like you said, so passionately a minute ago, as the people of God, as we are able to operate from a place of abundance, the impact we can have on the world, we can give more, we can empower more, we can go out there and equip more people. But if we're broke, we can't do crap. Nothing. Absolutely. We're just trying to pay the bills. Then you're stressed out. You have no creativity when you're under that bondage of debt and worrying about money. It stifles all of these things for most people inside of them that they can't even go out and create or do anything, uh, you know, for God, because they're just trying to feed their family. So I just rebuke that spirit of poverty that is over so many people and, and that poverty thinking that thinking that you can't go out into the world and be successful financially because God wants you. I believe he wants you to be successful. You're right. It's not loving money. It's, it's not making money your Lord. It's knowing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and that money is a tool that we can use. Absolutely. And I tell people, use your nine to five to help you create your business. That's right. Now, I'm not saying leave it, leave it when, you know, God sees fit. Now, I left a job. Now, at that time, I struggled with it, you know, and that's when the birth of all of this came about. But I must say that um, I still went back to work. But God let me know, hey, the same way that I move you off that job, you get ready. It's going to be the same thing. You know, it's going to, you know, so um, and he provided, you know, five is the number of grace. So I must say that I ne I did not go without. Um, but I think at the time I was kind of afraid to actually really be totally in business. I was kind of afraid. So I guess God knew. I was kind of afraid. So he said, let me give her some more time. You know, thank God for grace. But it may be someone out there as well that may be struggling with that, struggling defense. I say, whenever God tells you to move, just move, you know, um, and do whatever he's calling you to do. And God knows he give us the grace and we got to ask God for the anointings, whatever he has anointed us to do. That's what we're called to do. And we just got to fine tune that in our lives as we fine tune our lives with Jesus Christ mm. and everything else will fall into place. The more we get in his presence and the more we get into prayer, which when you get into prayer, you're going to get into his presence. Yes. The more you're going to be empowered, the more you're going to be empowered to do, meaning that you're going to go out and do some incredible things. And I always tell somebody, if your dream don't scare you and what have God have given you, don't shake you. It's not a God dream. <laughs> and the reason why I say that, because I have done some things and God has told me to make major investments in things. And that really shook me. Like, I can't believe I, ju I just done that. Like, I can't believe, did you just um, unlock? I mean, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, that's how the school came about, unlocking uh, destiny. Did you just do that? I mean, really? I mean, are you crazy? Uh, it's just, I'm just saying, that's how he operates. Because I must say that it's not in our strength and power. That's right. God give us things that um, won't be in our strength and power that we'll be able to do by ourselves. He make it that way. He'll give you dreams that blow your mind. He'll even give you a vision with nothing in your bank account and you'll be sitting up here like, how am I going to do that? Because he want you to make him the forefront, meaning that position you so that he is Lord, meaning that he going to give yes. you everything you need. Matthew 6 and 33, seek first the kingdom of God and righteousness, his righteousness and all these things shall be added. He wants you to know that without him, you're not going to be able to do it. That's mm. why. Your dreams and what he's giving you is so like unreal and it don't match your qualifications as though you don't, I mean, it don't look as though you can do it, but trust me, by his grace, by his wow. anointing, you are able to do all things. Um, I know that you're listening and you're like, I need that woman in my life. <laughs>
you you need to be on stages. I mean, you are you have an you have a gift. You're anointed. I mean, really, you are an anointed speaker. And I don't know if you're doing that, but you should be because you are gifted. That is a, a gift from God. And everywhere I'm gonna listen to this over and over and over because you have spoken so much truth to me today. I feel like crying. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. Yeah. <laughs> you, you are you are an amazing woman. And I know that people are gonna want to get connected with you. So tell everybody how they find you. Um, you can find me. I'm on Facebook. April Azale, you can reach me. And when you reach April Azale, A-P-R-I-L-U-Z-Z-E-L-L. Um, also, you are linked to um, my Real Talk April. Um, that's on Facebook Live. Also, Freedom Living Podcast. You can catch my uh, recordings on Spotify. Um, it's also a level up on Apple now. Um, and you can also um, check it out on Anchor. Yes. Okay. And also, if you have any questions or anything you want to hook up, you can uh, email me at azaleapril at um, yahoo.com. Or if you're interested in um, wanting me to come on um, as a speaker or anything, you can also catch me at um www.realtalkapril.gmail.com. Yes. So all of the ways to connect with her will make sure are available in the show notes of the podcast. And if you're watching this on YouTube, they'll be right below the video in the details. And um, I just pray blessings upon you. And you obviously have many super supernatural giftings. So I don't need to pray for those, but I'm gonna pray for God to just to up level all of that for you and just to bring you just to overload you in a good way <laughs> with, you. with with lives to impact you you are a you are truly a very special woman you are a special woman oh thank you so much i just I want to thank you for for having uh, for taking the time to be here and to bless us with your incredible words of wisdom today amen it's an honor <laughs> thank you my friend all right thank you as well for the opportunity Thank you. Woo. Talk about getting taken to church. That woman is something. I, I hope that you, like me, will favorite this podcast and listen to her again and again and again because she, that was, there was a lot of good stuff in there. <laughs> and now we're literally just a couple of weeks away from the celebration of the birth of Christ. Christmas time. I love it. I love Christmas time. I love the celebration. I love uh, winding down the year and getting ready to start a new year. What a year this has been. 2021 is set to be a banner year for all of the kingdom of God. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. And uh, I'm excited about our Radiant Leadership Academy that is launching at the beginning of January. 16 weeks of biblical leadership discipleship training for women, by women, for women, to help you literally up-level every level of your life, every area of your life. And it doesn't matter, you know, what profession you're in, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you run a business, if you are a solopreneur, you were born to lead. And I want to help you to really uh, stand in that and lead from a position of authority lead knowing your identity, to really have your mindset around money, like exactly where it's supposed to be so that you can have the biggest kingdom impact that you can possibly have. So head over to girlpoweralliance.com for more information or radiantleadershipacademy.com. Get registered. Still have a couple of weeks to get registered. And I will tell you what, um, it's a remarkable thing to be a part of this community of Girl Power Alliance. If you're not already a part of it, please reach out and join us. We're praying for you. We are waiting for you. Girl Power Alliance, where women grow.